and you know as you know that in our last class we have discussed regarding the block 4 and we have discussed regarding the unit 15 and unit 14 and those two units are about the counseling and guidance and counseling and we have discussed uh, many in very important concepts regarding the guidance and counseling i think the not up to the counseling ethics i think we have discussed and today we will discuss from the techniques of guidance and counseling what are the different techniques are there by help of which we can do the professional guidance and counseling and many techniques are there as i already told to you in the last class as a teacher every teacher must consider himself or herself as a counselor and being a counselor is not only is a profession there must be someone's own interest it means it not only should be the profession it must be the passion for an individual and certain ethics are there and the individual must develop those values among himself and herself for adopting this profession profession of counseling and have the individual must have the mastery over certain techniques over the guidance and counseling so that can declare himself or herself as a professional counselor so many techniques are available mostly in the teaching learning process in a uh, educational institute by being a counselor a certain techniques we are going to use and those are mostly the rational analysis technique preparation of an emotional balance sheet analysis and uh, negotiation is a technique disputing irrational beliefs um, by identifying the irrational beliefs to identify those and try to dis dis uh, dispose or dis dispatch those irrational beliefs are the mostly important techniques we are going to use and beyond that also many many uh, techniques are there like body image concerns psycho social concerns mental health education life skill approach cognitive restructuring technique uh, count your blessings technique so different techniques are there and by using all those techniques we can conduct the guidance and counseling and guidance and counseling uh, we can say that it's for the name sake uh if you are going to do the guidance and counseling it cannot be called as a professional but it is a very tough profession by being as a teacher every teacher must be a counselor has to see the individual within your within his or her eyes from inside it means counseling is not to judge judgment uh, must be away uh, from the process of the counseling because acceptance has more emphasized under the process of the counseling and under what are the skills must have to develop for counseling and those skills are mostly important skill is that skill of attending how we can attend a counselor and how we can profit and uh, professionally maintain the secrecy in the process of the counseling so these are the very important phenomena we have to keep in our mind at the time of counseling and counseling um, must be based on certain ethics and we must maintain the confidentiality a counselor must be bold enough and a counselor must be in uh, free and frank with the client and uh, make the uh, rapport with the client so that the client can freely reveal everything in front of you and uh, so for counseling it's required to create a conducive learning environment so that counseling can be possible counseling must be uh, and at last a counselor must be a transitional figure so these are the more or less things regarding the guidance and counseling and last class already a lot of time we have discussed the many concepts under the guidance and counseling and uh, uh, now the unit 16 is left and this is about your adjustment and mental health and today we will start this the topic adjustment and mental health so what is adjustment 
adjustment means suppose we are going to make a balance within what we require what is our need and what is the availability is there for me if we are able to maintain these two then we can say that we are able to adjust in a layman point of view and adjustment is a we can say also is a compromise between your needs and the demands of the society in which we are living okay so maintaining a balance between our needs and the demands we can say is an adjustment process as we know as a individual we have different type of needs and all such needs if you will going to categorize every day we have the different from the by birth to till the end of our life there are a lot of needs and if you will categorize our needs into different heads then we can say we can categorize them as our biological needs social needs psychological needs environmental needs physiological needs and certain personal needs personal choice personal needs okay and meeting all these needs as we know what we need it is not readily available for us we have to give the effort to achieve it or we have to make a balance if we are not not able to get it so the process of this maintaining the balance between our needs and the demands and and the needs of the society we can call it as a adjustment and it is a psychological process and we mostly we can mostly assume that not it is not 100% it is correct we mostly assume that highly intellectual individuals are more adjustive in nature because uh, every every situation in every moment adjustment plays a very important role uh, for your growth okay and so if and the research and also the findings also reveals that the individual who are more intelligent or we can say who are more emotionally intelligent also they are able to adjust at every situation and on the basis of achieving the needs and the goals they are able to sacrifice some things and they can able to make the balance so we can say that no doubt adjustment is a psychological process but cognition also plays a very important role to maintain it so we can assume also that highly intellectual people if the circumstance required they are the more adjusty persons in the society okay and when as i already told whatever the needs are there maintaining the balance between all these things are called as the adjustment and process of adjustment how we are going to adjust um, means different types of process of adjustment are there and of course we can say the stress arousing adjustment situation uh, as we know in every situation we have certain stress and strain who are able to handle those stress and strain can call as the more adjusted people and uh, and those um, um, problem stress and uh, stress arise from our lifestyle from our traumatic experience from injury so stress comes from different ways but whenever there is a stress and storm if we are able to make the balance of it then it is called as a process of adjustment like um, up, when the stress and we are able to manage then after that we have coping with the behavior how we are going to cope up with the behavior because we know our my behavior is within my control but i can't control the behavior of all who are there in my surrounding but and we know we have to live in the society as we know we all are the part and parcel of the society so um, to bring a change within my behavior is my own responsibility or this is there in my end or in my limit but i cannot change the behavior the thoughts the beliefs of the other individuals who are there in my surroundings so coping up with the behavior of others without complaining or uh, making the balance according to the needs and situation 
is also a adjustment process. Uh, so, um, in in that, if you will see, what is the mostly cause of the making that balance uh, adjustment? What is going to create the stress where we have to adjust? One of the important thing is that task, task oriented. When we are more task oriented and goal oriented, it is going to create more hazards and more problems in our way of life. And we, if we and it is going to create the stress for us. And we, if we were able to handle it, then it is called as a process of adjustment. Like that, uh, emotion oriented. Uh, when uh, we are unable to control our emotion, as in our last class already we have discussed, we all are living with some positive and negative emotions. And maintaining the balance of these positive and negative emotion is very important. And every individual has to make a balance between these two. And so emotional uh, orientation is also a process of adjustment. If we want to learn the adjustment, we have must be oriented about the emotions. We have must be oriented regarding the how to achieve the task or the goal. <sighs> And so these are the, uh, we can say, the process of adjustment. And for, as we already know, this adjustment is a psychological process. No doubt cognition plays a very important role, but it is a psychological process. And many psychologists have developed many models on for this adjustment. And those are mostly the moral model, biological model, psychoanalytic model, behavioristic model, humanistic model, and uh, cultural relative model, etc. Okay, so different models are developed by the psychologist, how we can develop the process of adjustment within an individual. And every model is based on certain goals and objectives. Every, every model's goal is to learn the process of adjustment. But here, uh, the goal is same, but the process is different. And every model has given emphasis on the different strategies. Suppose we will talk regarding the moral model. Moral model has given more focus on religious norms and beliefs and the thoughts. It means, as we know from our childhood onwards, uh, we have certain norms, rules, regulation, in the name of the culture, society, religion, etc. And those are also the things which are mostly helpful for us to adjust. Okay. So this is a technique. How we can develop the process of adjustment within an individual you know, by help of those moral things. It means by inculcating the moral values among the individuals, by giving more importance on the religious norms, uh, and um, the ethics, uh, if you will give focus and will inculcate those things in, within the individual and on the basis of it, we can teach the process of adjustment to the society, then it is called as a moral model. So at the end, we can tell that moral model keep more focus on religious norms, okay, beliefs, thoughts, etc. Okay, this is a way how we can develop the process of adjustment. Like that, another model is there, which is called as the biological model. Biological model has given always focus on uh, the gene, the cause of genetic as one of the phenomena for adjustment. It means according to this model, adjustment is also inherited. Means we can tell that if parents are more adjusted, then also children are mostly becoming more adjusted. So they used to believe that adjustment is a phenomena what we are going to inherit from our parents. Okay, so biological model give focus on hormone and the gene as the one of the cause for the adjustment process. And also many research also has proved that this is also true that. Uh, gene and the hormone plays a very important role in the adjustment process. Then another model is psychoanalytic model. Psychoanalytic model 
give more importance on psychological factors psychological factors are responsible uh, for the adjustment process it means the individual who are psychologically strong they are more adjustive than the ill psychological help people so development of a positive psychology or positivism with an individual helps to adjust in the society and this uh, psychologic uh, psychoanalytic model have given more importance on maslow's theory what he has mentioned the id ego and super ego okay. and another model is also there which is called as the behavioristic model and this behavioristic model focus on the acquired skill and the competition it means behavioristic model given importance on uh, the adjustment is not a inherited phenomena according to behavioristic model adjustment is not a inherited phenomena but it is a learned things it means we have to as an individual we have to learn the process of adjustment okay they did not used to believe in the hormone and the gene as the one of the important factor for determining the adjustment and they used to believe that the environment the surroundings what is next to us or where we are going to live and how we are going to live it is going to determine by that environment and according to them environment plays a very important role to teach us the process of adjustment so the family environment and the peer group environment the community environment school environment these all are the things which is directly or indirectly teachers regarding our adjustment process and another model is there which is known as the humanistic model and this humanistic model focus on how to cope up with the stress is a adjustment process it means humanistic model given emphasis on humanistic model given emphasis on stress stress plays a very important role to adjust it means uh, stress is required for all of us a stress to some extent is useful for each and every individual the individual who are able to maintain the stress more are called as the more adjustive so humanistic model has given importance on the stress if a individual are able to maintain or make a balance of the stress can be called as more adjustive so every individual according to them every individual must face some stress in every field and that directly or indirectly is going to taught us the process of adjustment like culture cultural ethos cultural ethics these all are also is a important phenomena to teach the process of adjustment and that is called as the cultural relative model and this cultural relative model have given more importance on culture as the phenomena which teaches regarding the adjustment so adjustment is a very important phenomena every individual has to learn it and every individual also a individual cannot exist in the society without adjustment as we already know every moment in every situation there is a situation of either as already we have discussed in piaget theory piaget have explained in his cognitive development theory as the process of assimilation accommodation and equilibration it means in every moment in our life at every field either we want to assimilate or we want to accommodate or by being the process of help of the process of assimilation and accommodation gradually we reach the point of equilibration so it is a common phenomena for each and every individual at every field uh, to learn the process of adjustment 
and the individual who have not learned the process of adjustment cannot live in the society or cannot live it at any way so we are adjusting uh, in our way of living okay so it's a generalization we can tell our adjustment gradually nobody taught us how to adjust we gradually learn by way of our living so as we grow up as we we are getting the maturity gradually the adjustment is going to be grown within an individual so what is the characteristics of so forth and we can say that the persons who are adjusting they are having a good mental health okay so uh, being adjustive is a symptom of good mental health good healthy persons it is a symptom of healthy individual okay so now we will discuss what are the characteristics are there for a good mental health person if we can say that an individual has is having a good mental health so what are the qualities must be there for the individual so many qualities are there we will focus on certain few qualities as free from inner conflicts okay is one of the important quality of a mental health person mentally healthy person what is free from inner conflicts as we know at every moment there is a conflict within us what to do what not to do okay and uh, even though we do certain things there is a inner sense which is going to make us and always judging us no you are doing right or wrong you should not be do like this it is not whatever i have done it is wrong so these are the certain things are there which is always there within us and at every moment we are going to run certain self talks हेलो आगे मैम वॉइस सुना जाए ची आगे मैम सो वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए मेंटली हेल्दी पर्सन सो ए मेंटली हेल्दी इंडिविजुअल ऑलवेज मस्ट बी फ्री फ्रॉम द इनर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट्स इट मींस बिफोर गोइंग टू डू समथिंग um we must listen to our inner self whether it is wrong or right because there is a guide within each and every individual we each and every individual are is our own guide so before going to do the things if we will listen to our inner self then it is a symptom of good or mentally healthy individual like that apply intelligence to the effective solution of the problem it means we know that everywhere there is problem Uh, we cannot get a life without problem uh, everywhere uh, whatever may be the circumstances in at every situation always there will be a problem we must assume that always there will be a problem but uh, a mentally healthy individual always accept the problem and always try to find out the solution to the problem not to avoid the problem or to not to make the problem more problematic or not to quit Uh, from the problem so a symptom of a good mentally healthy people is that always try to use the intellect intellectual ability to find out the effective solution to a problem so it is a symptom of good mentally healthy people like that uh, 
aware about your own capabilities strength and weakness uh, because uh, we know that every individual we have we are born with certain strength and certain potentiality but sometimes we are busy in such a way in our life in our living that we are unaware about our own strength and weakness okay if we give focus on introspection and we give focus on our self development so that we can identify to to see you from within inside we are going to tell not to see others but we should find certain times to see ourselves from inner so every individual must give focus on the introspection to find out the strength and the weakness if we are going to practice it it is also a symptom of good mental health absence of fault finding attitude absence of fault finding attitude fault finding attitude means uh, every moment if an individual is try to find a fault among others it is not a symptom of good mental health because we already know that we all individuals are different we all are unique we are living with our own potentiality we have certain strength and certain weakness so uh, by being an individual my duty is not only to find out the fault among others but if you will see from the positivity if instead of seeing the negativity we can see the strength among others it is a symptom of good mental health so if an individual is always there in a situation to find the fault of others it is a totally negative attitude and it is not a symptom of good mental health then accept uh, the variety or accept the reality uh, as we know uh, in the world each and every individual is unique we never accept that someone will be like me or someone will be like us and all will be equal it it will never possible because we individual are unique and we are unique in our own strength and own potential so we must accept the diversity we must accept that whatever the surrounding is there with diversified energy uh, i have to accept it now i i must not see what is there within me that also will be reflected in others no we, we know that we all are different and diversified so i have we have to accept this diversification and that is the reality if we are able to accept it and that acceptance quality is it is developed within an individual then it is also a symptom of good mental health the next uh, we can say having self control is a very important thing sometimes uh, we want to control others but we do not know how to control ourselves control myself okay so we are always busy in how we will control others where i will be i will get more power so that i will control others but the thing is that we cannot control others the one thing what we can do is that we can control ourselves only but it is also not a very easy thing it's very difficult to control yourself and a control yourself will be possible if you are aware about your own strength and weakness and you are practicing the uh, skill of introspection and you are 100% aware about your life and living then only you can control and that self control is a very important phenomena for each and every individual and it is a symptom of good mental health then emotional perception of the world as already i told to you everything in our life is going to move around with certain emotion okay and we are living with certain emotion without having a emotion we can't lead our life okay so emotion is our life indirectly we can say that emotion is our life and maintaining the balance between the emotion and the reality is the life and if we are able to um, perceive the world uh, from that point of view that emotion and maintenance of the emotion are making a balance between emotion and reality then 
it is a symptom of good mental health then personality consistency personality as we know uh, every individual have certain personality there is no such individuals who are having the equal personality and personality is based on our certain psychological traits and but if there is frequent change in the personality of an individual from place to place from time to time it is not a good symptom of good mental health okay we can say that there is no reliability of the individual so consistency in personality okay is a symptom of good mental health so these all are the characteristics of a mental healthy of a mentally healthy individual and if we will find all these things in our day to day life definitely it will help us to move towards a mentally healthy individual and now we will discuss certain mechanism which are already developed by the psychologist for adjustment what are those mechanism that those are called as the adjustment mechanism and those adjustment mechanisms are suppose we can, we are going every as i already told every individual adjust in their own life in their own way okay so different ways are there to adjust sometimes we adjust by defending sometimes we adjust by escaping we adjust with illness uh, sometimes we directly adjust and different mechanisms are there and what we are going to mostly adapt that also depends on our personality what mostly the mechanism of adjustment we are using in our life okay and those are called as the adjustment mechanism so first we will discuss suppose when we are going to adjust by different what are the mechanisms are there <coughs> so adjustment mechanism by different are repression suppression reaction or we can say by fixation regression sublimation and identification so these are the strategy we mostly we use when we want to adjust by defend by defending okay repression repression means imposing the things on others okay we want to adjust sometimes whatever the things has happened we do not want to take to it to us to our own hand and we want to redirect it to someone else okay so in this way sometimes we are suppose something wrong has happened we want to always in a mood uh, to blame others why i have done this mistake because of for, for particular that reason so this is a defense mechanism it means we want to adjust there by defending it okay so it can be called as the mechanism of the repression like suppression sometimes we have done something wrong but still we have to we are not there in a situation to accept it but we want to suppress it we want to hide it we want to avoid it okay so if we are going to do adjust there then it is called as the suppression or sometimes by reaction uh adjustment we are going to do by help of the reaction by by the help of certain reaction it means whether by dominating or by suppressing or by we can say um, uh, negatively react reacting with others we are want we want to adjust so reaction can also be a defense mechanism for adjustment uh sometimes uh, we want to do it by sublimation it means something wrong has happened but we want to so as something not happen okay we want to disappear it we want to sublimate it it means as we behave like that something nothing are we are unaware about the situation and nothing has happened so so this is a situation where we have given importance on the sublimation okay we want to disappear it so these there are the certain mecha defense mechanism like repression uh, suppression reaction 
regression or sometimes we regret also so regression also can be called as a defense mechanism so these are the certain mechanism by help of which we are mostly adjusting are mo voice suna jauchi ete jana achu class re yes ma'am subha jauchi acha tumi jane hi achu aaj class re आगे हम जोने ही ना जिनसे जॉइन कर इतने फोन लेफ्ट कर गए ले चलो ठीक है अच्छे ठीक है अच्छे तो कितना पीपीटी तैयारी करते हैं वो शेयर करो जो मतलब लड़के कंफर्म करो देखा जाओ जी देखा जाओ चुपी पी थी यस मैम ठीक है सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एडजस्टमेंट ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज एडजस्टमेंट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड आल्सो द प्रोसेस ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट डिफरेंट मॉडल्स ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट and we have discussed the characteristics of a mental healthy person so we are discussing now about the adjustment mechanism and already i told to you if we want to do the adjustment by difference then there are certain technique as it is depression suppression reaction fixation sorry the fixation swelling mistake is there and regression sublimation and identification okay and sometimes not only every time we want to adjust by the defense sometimes we want to adjust by escaping it means something has happened we do not want to involve with that we want to escape from it okay we have no stamina or the strength to face the problem okay we want to escape from that problem and um, that is also a process of adjustment and uh, uh, actually when as we know that drug addiction for example drug addiction is a process of adjustment but by escaping it means something a mental tension is there we want to be out of that tension but we have never given focus on the solution of the problem but we want to avoid the problem so we are going to addict with that drug so drug addiction is a adjustment by escape like alcoholism smoking frenzy so these all are the uh, mechanism mostly also sometimes people adapt to avoid the problem or to adjust in their life they used to take the help of all these things to adjust in their life okay. but it is a negative way of adjustment it is not it is it is not going to solve anything or the problem will never will be solved or it will be it will be more complicated or more more problem will be arise okay so adjustment by escaping is not a good mechanism okay like another is that adjustment by illness sometimes due to the stress and uh, problem some illness used to be find out within the individual as stress disorder neurosis hello what mukul ma'am adjustment by escape ro jo truancy means ta kon ke truancy means being be traumatic he jiba jo mane kichhi na kahiba silent hi ki rahiba traumatic situation ko poreba डिप्रेसन को पल्ड 
देन एडजस्टमेंट बाय इलनेस इलनेस जो डा साइकोसोमैटिक डिजर्डर्स जितने स्ट्रेस आउ स्टर्म था है एट डेट टाइम आल्सो हु आर अनेबल टू हैंडल द स्ट्रेस एंड स्टर्म सर्टेन डिजीज रिलेटेड टू न्यूरो इज गोइंग टू आल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट विद इन द इंडिविजुअल्स एंड दोज आर मोस्टली आइडेंटिफाइड एज द स्ट्रेस डिजर्डर न्यूरोसिस साइकोसोमैटिक डिजर्डर्स साइकोलॉजिकल इंबैलेंस सो दिस इज आल्सो वी कैन से द एडजस्टमेंट बिकॉज दे आर अनेबल टू नो एनीथिंग बट इट इज नॉट इट इज आल्सो ए नेगेटिव मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट or it is called as the adjustment by illness okay. and another is the direct method of adjustment mostly sometimes mostly most of the times not sometimes where certain stress and storm is there we it is out of the control we are unable to do mostly we used to cry so we can say that crying is also a adjustment mechanism by crying by relieve relieving the emotion but the uh, we are going to being out of the stress so we can say that uh, crying is a direct method of adjustment crying is a direct method of adjustment okay and are screen dekha jao ji na dekha jao नो मैम देखा जाऊ ने यस मैम सो वी कैन से दैट क्राइम इज ए डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट एंड इट इज अ वेरी गुड मेकेनिज्म टू एडजस्ट ओके then we will come to the concept of mal adjustment what is mal adjustment the individual who are unable to adjust they are called as the mal adjusted individuals okay um uh, so what is the uh, mal adjustment the prolonged exposure to stress and lack of social support and low psychological um, uh, happiness and lead to mal adjustment kaha ko me amar kete bele mal adjusted ami jemti ko mal adjustment child jemti ko jemti amar diet re gote achi je amar complete diet jodi gote ami no pau ta la amar mal adjusted adjustment hoy jaye amar development physical growth ro jethi ki development hoy pariba katha according to age appropriate amar hoy no thai samiti gote individual ko bi chua belu choto belu तार जो साइकोलॉजिकल एनवायरनमेंट इट मींस साइकोलॉजिकल एनवायरनमेंट मैंने हमें कौन कहवा पेरेंट्स को साइकोलॉजी साइकोलॉजिकल एनवायरनमेंट रे कोन आसु द पेरेंट्स को साइकोलॉजी फैमिली एनवायरनमेंट द सराउंडिंग वे द चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू लीव द सोसाइटी द कम्युनिटी एंड व्हेन द इंडिविजुअल इंडिविजुअल इंटरैक्टिव विद द अदर इंडिविजुअल्स हु आर एसोसिएटिंग द चाइल्ड सो दे ऑल विल कम अंडर द साइकोलॉजिकल एनवायरनमेंट if an individual is unable to get a appropriate psychological environment so automatically there will be the problem of adjustment for the child as we already knew adjustment no one taught to us we by naturally by naturally as we born and as we are growing naturally according to our age like that in our life process we are going to learn the adjustment naturally from our Uh, um, near surroundings okay but certain uh, conditions are responsible psychological conditions are responsible to teach us the process of adjustment if those things are not available for a child then the child will be mal adjusted it means if 
parents are not having a good psychology definitely it has a impact in the psychological development of the child okay if in a family parents are always uh, there is always a dispute among the parents they are not the happy parents okay there is always some conflict among the parents and the child is always used to see such type of environment in the family okay so it has a negative impact in the psychological development of the child and that will never taught the child the adjustment process okay so parent psychology and not only parent psychology the family where the child is used to live there is always quarrel and there is no understanding among the individuals in a family and every day the child is going to expose all type of disturbances in the family then definitely it also has a impact in the psychological growth and it is going to create a malwish there is a stress for a child as i already told you due to the family stress where the reason where always there is certain war certain conflict suppose take example i may be one person ko hai jammu kashmir ro border line ro area ro jo ma jo pila mane rohcha every moment they used to see certain conflicts aaj ki chhoti disturbance hai chitta community aaj uthi kon problem hai chi they are always in stress every day they are not able to lead a normal life in their life so kali kote bomba udi chi kali kote ka ko guli baji chi ka ko they they are always there in a psychological state of fear uh, they are not a free child they not used to get a free life so these are the near surrounding circumstances it also is going to create a mal adjusted child it means those children also have the problem of adjustment and where the mal adjustment will occur if the minimum needs of a child is not going to be filled if in a family the minimum needs as we know the food cloth and shelter is not available for a child pratyek din jo pila man ko khaiwa ko miluni they used to struggle for the food also or minimum uh, they, uh, they did not no, they are unable to get the love and affection attention of the parents there is no education there is no love and affection there is no food and the child is from the childhood onwards is suffering to satisfy the needs so definitely it will cause the mal adjustment to those children so so these all are the certain circumstances are there which is going to create a adjustment problem among the children and where there is a adjustment problem among the children that is called as the mal adjustment ma'am ppt ta visible heu ni hello ebe hello i get ma'am yes ma'am okay okay so what is mal adjustment means prolonged exposure to stress lack of social support um low psychological readiness lead to mal adjustment mal adjustment manifest in the form of neurosis hysteria hysteria character did you know but i go mostly i mean koi je neuro neurology re kichi problem thai neuro neurosis problem thai kimba hysteria jemti high anxiety level high stress level uh, it is a order psychological disease it is a psychological disease hysteria so it is also a symptom of or a disease due to the mal adjustment some the character disorder personality disorder um, character disorder it means we know that the people who are unaware about they are not unaware they are they are not able to they are not able in a condition to obey the social norms because we know we individuals are always living within the boundaries of our social rules and regulations but the children who are mal adjusted from the childhood onwards they are going to suffer so they are never in a state 
to accept the social norms rules and regulations because they have suffered a lot so they are not in a condition so um, they have certain character disorder um, they have certain um, uh, personality disorder so that is also a maladjustment symptom like that addiction addiction is already i will addiction to drugs alcohol addiction of telling lies also um, mostly you will see the mal adjusted people at every moment they will tell the lie uh, micha kahiba what a habit it is a defense mechanism like that but still it is a symptom of mal mal adjustment at every moment without any need also without anything it become a practice of always telling the lies so that is also a um, symptom of the mal adjustment like addiction so and already we have discussed why the mal adjustment is going to occur within an individual and already one thing is that adjustment we are going to learn from our early stage of our life if it is not going to learn in the early stage of our life it is very difficult to change it in the later stage of our life mane er mane eta kahibar mane huchi jodi gote pilla chhua belu jodi adjustment karibar sikhi paribo nahi then it's very difficult to make the habit of adjustment in the later stage bado hala pore certain after adulthood ko asla pore adjustment kariba adjustment habit ko again develop kariba samana ko pe bahut kasht hoita hai it's not it's very rare jodi bhi kaha pake hothu it's very the percentage is very less okay so adjustment or mal adjustment situation is going to decide in the very early stage of our life okay we will and what individual adjustment and okay that's normal enhancing adjustment many techniques already i already told to you many techniques are there uh, as already i told to you that nowadays we give more focus on the biological perspectives like meditation relaxation group and encounter experience are the techniques to develop the adjustment within the individual as we know nowadays we focus on the for a good psychological group we give more focus on meditation okay. introspection meditation is a very important uh, technique or we can say by practicing all these we can enhance the adjustment among an individual or it is a biological perspective Hello. like there are certain cognitive perspective also and cognitive perspectives is that restructure of thoughts uh, suppose as we know we are always living within our own thoughts and beliefs actually we the world is something different but we perceive the world we accept the world on the basis of our own thoughts and beliefs sometimes we in perceive an individual also on the basis of our own we do not know how a individual is because we are unaware we are not able to see a individual by seeing his inner i mean kono se gote manushya ko ta bhitar ko jaike ami ta dekhi paruna but we we always used to judge he is a good person he is a bad person he is the person so these all judgment things are according to our own thoughts and beliefs it means that what we are going to see in others it is already there within us okay but we are unaware about it okay so this is a cognitive perspective uh, if we want to ad adopt the habit of the adjustment first of all we must aware about our own thoughts and beliefs we must give focus on in every moment the conscious living how we are living our life suppose we will see nowadays most of us are just living living and life is something different we are just only living our life living our life means only um, by doing a, uh, the day to day activities we are living 
but real living and only the living has a lot of difference whether we are really living and uh, we are really conscious about our own life so for that purpose uh, if we want to change something change in our life we have to restructure our own cognitive thoughts okay. our own cognitive perspectives uh, it means being aware about what type of thought is coming to your mind how we will restructure our cognition suppose be aware about the your own thoughts and beliefs suppose some thoughts is going to create in your mind just think of it why it came to your mind okay where it came why you are thinking like this then you can find the root of it is it really it is there or i am perceiving like this okay if we will be conscious about it so we can say that conscious living also a cognitive perspective to restructure our thoughts at every moment be conscious about your own thoughts and beliefs okay whatever the thoughts are there write down those thoughts and beliefs why today why this type of thoughts is there within me okay and if you are conscious if we are first of all consciousness about our own thoughts and beliefs will solve a lot of problem in our lives and it will help us to adjust it everywhere and so that is a cognitive perspective uh, review of irrational beliefs if sometimes certain negative thoughts are there within us then first of all identify suppose sometime uh, you are there with the negative thought of anger and fear and jealous then identify that why it why it is coming in my mind why it, i am ang why i am angry now what is the cause why i am angry or if you are fearful why i am fearful what if something mistake you have done then you may be fearful so what mistake i have done just identify it be conscious about it and focus then you will find out the cause of it then focus on the solution of it not to be with that negative emotion suppose you people be anger your solution your problem will not be solved if you are fearful your problem will not be solved okay so being with certain negative emotion uh, and by being conscious about your negative emotion and focus on the realistic solution is also a cognitive perspective for adjustment then we will discuss what is the behavioral perspective behavioral perspective is also there to make the adjustment like um, as we know certain behavioral training from childhood onwards we used to get certain behavioral training from our parents like that also not only from the child if you will see if the parents are more disciplined we will find that child is also more disciplined if the parents are more truthful the child will develop the habit of more truthfulness uh, so suppose if we will find such type of disorders also within an individual we can make it conditioning in the later stage also to particular to develop a particular behavior within a child we will make the conditioning conditioning means you understand we will make it practice uh, practice it for a, as we know if we will practice a thing more than 21 days and we will practice more and more then automatically it will convert into our behavior so uh, to develop certain positive attitude positive behavior within us we give more importance on conditioning on practicing so that certain positive behavior can develop suppose a child is not punctual we want to make the child punctual so every day we want to make it a practice okay for everything you must be punctual it means from morning to get up to till to going to the bed we want to make the child punctual in time so if we will practice it without any condition only we will make the child to practice for more than 21 days or more than one or two so automatically you will see the day will come unconsciously the child will be punctual in time at every moment the child will be in time so this is called as a behavioral perspective nothing to analyze nothing to do it but to practice it as we know from our childhood onwards we know when we will go to the school we will do the prayer and when 
um uh, uh, after prayer there will be class so we used to condition there will be a break we will be eat so these are the certain disciplinary habits and mostly disciplinary habits used to develop by help of the practicing and the, that is called as the behavioral perspective and as we know every children the how they used to live in their own culture and own society uh, according to that they used to develop their personality suppose uh, in 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 our in our place if we have certain habits uh, we are grown up with that but if them suppose you will just take see take to see you will go to see the school of buddhism the the, the students who are there you will see how they are they used to live their life because they are conditioned with that uh, like that you will go to any gurukul how the children are because not it is a, not a matter of who can learn who cannot no everybody can learn but the thing is that how we are going to make it a practice how we are going to convert it into a habit okay so that is going to adjust with it not that they are uh, we are we can also do anything not only on the basis of our energy but most of the thing on the basis of our acceptance and habit okay uh, so acceptance and the habit uh, have to change from the childhood onwards within the individual and that will come under the behavioral perspectives uh, uh, so these are the more or less things regarding the adjustment and already i think these all the things we have already discussed also in the unit 1 also we have discussed okay so i will show you certain things which is left related to this in the unit 1 we will focus on it in the block 1 these all the things are also repeated here those things i have mentioned to you yes what i am now going to tell this approaches to personality and factors are uh, ppt visible ho ji na i get ma'am jo katha uda ka me it dekho it discussion kar le enhancing adjustment and those approaches are also there in your block 1 and those things already we have discussed here and the different uh, approaches to personality as that psychoanalytic approach behavioristic approach trait approach social cognitive approach humanistic approach ए अप्रोच उडा को भी हमें डिस्कशन करी थिले तमे वर्तमान जे अछ तमे उडा सब बुझी परछ न तमे किछ डाउट अछ रिलेटेड देन अगेन आई विल रिपीट अदरवाइज नाइ मैम बुझी परछ बुझी परछ ओके सो बुझी परछ ये जोटा कि वर्तमान कहते पीएसिंग कर अप्रोच भी थिला जोटा कि फ्रॉम द चाइल्डहुड ऑनवर्ड्स हाउ जोटा कि एडॉप्टेशन एसिमुलेशन एकोमोडेशन एंड इक्विलिब्रेशन कथा पीएसए कहितले एंड दिस इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट इट मींस ग्रेजुअली एज अ चाइल्ड यूज्ड टू ग्रो ऑटोमेटिकली नेचुरली देयर इज अ प्रोसेस विद इन अस ओके व्हिच इज एट एवरी मोमेंट वी वांट टू एडॉप्ट वी वांट टू एडजस्ट Uh, for for the adjustment uh, we are uh, um, going to do two things either we want to assimilate or we want to accommodate and by being in the process of the assimilation or accommodation assimilation assimilation and accommodation we used to reach at the last as the equilibration point okay so this is the process of adjustment according to the cognitive development of a child from childhood onwards to till adulthood and adjustment we can say uh, as already different models already we have discussed as that uh, moral model biological model psychoanalytic model behavioristic model humanistic model but 
uh, as even though no doubt uh, gene and heredity plays important role according to the biological model but we can say that uh, this adjustment is totally different as a psychological phenomenon and every individual has to learn it so we can say that uh, humanistic model who have given focus on the learn adjustment is more emphasized it means every child has to learn the process of adjustment in life it is not that we have not inherited so we can't learn not like that the we have to create the environment uh, how the child can learn the process of adjustment in the society so humanistic model behavioristic model uh, and cultural relative model are the more appropriate model for the learning of adjustment okay so these are the more or less things regarding the adjustment na tamara jodi au kichhi doubt achi ku aaj content to bodhe tik re amar sari gala au kichhi nua content nahi discussion kariya pai au tame jodi tamara jodi kichhi doubt hoitu any any blog any unit if tamara kichhi achi tahale ku pachara discussion kariya nahi ma'am doubt nahi हेलो मैं ठीक एंड करी बा क्लास टाइम तो अछि बहुत आगे मैम मैम हमर जो क्लास या जो किछ पर्टिकुलर टाइम टेबल रहू छी कि मैम इंडक्शन हेलो हां 5:15 रु 7:15 पर त ओरे क्लास त मैक्सिमम टाइम तो जॉन कले जो एक्चुअली टाइमिंग तो जानी पर बोली मैक्सिमम टाइम क्लास टा भी मिस करी जाऊ छी नै तमरो स्टार्टिंग टाइम हो छी 5:15 तमरो 2 घंटा एक्चुअली क्लास ता 2 घंटा चलेबा कथा 2 घंटा रु तमे 1 1/2 प्रेजेंटेशन ले भी तमरो अधो घंटा टे हो छी डिस्कशन त माने डाउट पछरीबा कथा अधो घंटा टे हमरो डिस्कशन होबा कथा तो खाली तो वन वे प्रोसेस रे पढ़ैले तो बुझबो नै तमे माने निजे पढ़ी की जे डाउट पचारले हमर गोटे अध घंटा टे लास्ट 15 20 मिनिट हमर डिस्कशन होबा दरकार किंतु तमे तो बहुत कम पिला क्लास जॉइन करछो काहर भी डाउट न थौ छी हमर एटा क्लास से भी तमे हम 7 टा 15 पर्यंत डिस्कशन करि परबा तमे डाउट पचार ऑलरेडी जो कंटेंट उडा के इंपोर्टेंट कंटेंट उडा थिला हम तमे प्रेजेंट करि सक छी हां सब चारिटा जाके ब्लॉक रो यदि तमर को ब्लॉक आज तमर लास्ट क्लास ए पेपर रो एटा छी लास्ट क्लास तमर आछी तब जब मैं मैं चैटर जाके ब्लॉग डिस्कशन कर ले यदि तुम्हारो ए ब्लॉग रिलेटेड किसी भी डाउट हो ची को ब्लॉग रो को यूनिट रो भी मैं अच्छे नहीं पढ़ेगा मैं डिस्कशन करूं तो तुम्हें तो कहीं लोग भी माल एडजस्टमेंट मैंने कौन बुझी लो सुबिले नि मैम नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम आउ थरे कोन दे ठीक है हम गली माल एडजस्टमेंट आज जो हम डिस्कशन करले तमे कोन बुझिलो ठीक कहला मते मैं जो एडजस्टमेंट टाइम में जति कि साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम हम हम फेस करू चंति जति कि नेगेटिव थॉट्स आसु छि आ ओ जति कि रो छि कि लैक ऑफ सोशल सपोर्ट रो छि जे गुडा सब सेटमेंट द क्रिएट हो छि सोडा हो छि माल एडजस्टमेंट what is responsible for the uh, to make a child mal adjustment what are the factors are responsible for it मैम जो फैमिली मेंबर्स रहले कि टीचर रहले समान तो अधिक अकाउंटेड हेबा समान जो प्रॉब्लम रहउ छि ताको सॉल्व करबा आउ जदि समान बेसी एकुटिया रहउ छन एगुडा प्रॉब्लम गुडा को से समान सॉर्ट आउट करि पानन समान को एनवायरमेंट रे रहले से जिनसटा को समान बहुत शीघ्र ही से सॉर्ट आउट कर परबे यस आ मे कि कहि परबे जे नाउ अ डेज अ न्यूक्लियर फैमिली इज आल्सो ए कॉज ऑफ माल एडजस्टेड चाइल्ड न्यूक्लियर फैमिली जोटे न्यूक्लियर फैमिली ओनली पेरेंट्स आर देयर एंड सिंगल चाइल्ड इज देयर द चाइल्ड इज अनएबल टू लर्न हाउ टू एडजस्ट बिकॉज़ नो वन इज देयर इन द फैमिली टू एडजस्ट ओके so it is said now it is also called we mostly find the children mal adjusted 
କାହିଁକିନା ଆମେ ଜାଣିଛେ ଯେତେବେଳେ ଜଏଣ୍ଟ ଫ୍ୟାମିଲି ଥାଏ ସେଇଠି ଚାରି ପାଞ୍ଚ ଜଣ ପିଲା ଥିଲା ବେଳେ ଦେ ନୋ ହାଉ ଟୁ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟ ଏମଙ୍ଗ ଦେମ ସେଲ୍ସ ଓକେ ଦେର ୱିଲ ବି ଏ କନଫ୍ଲିକ୍ ଦେ ନୋ ହାଉ ଟୁ ଲର୍ନ ଦ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟ ଦୋ ଆଜିକାଲି ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ଓନଲି ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ଏଣ୍ଡ ସିଙ୍ଗିଲ ଚାଇଲ୍ଡ ଏଣ୍ଡ ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ଅଲୱେଜ ହାଜ ଗିଭେନ ମୋର ଫୋକସ ଅନ ଦ ଚାଇଲ୍ଡ ପିଲାର କୌଣସି କଥାକୁ ଆମେ ମନା କରୁନା ସେ ଯାହା କହିଲେ ଆମେ ତାର ସବୁ ଡିଜାୟାର ଫିଲଫିଲ କରୁ ତାକୁ ବେଶି ଫୋକସ ଦଉ ତା କଥାରେ ଚାଲୁ ଦେନ ଦ ଚାଇଲ୍ଡ ଇଜ ଅନେବଲ ଟୁ ଲର୍ନ ହାଉ ଟୁ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟ ସୋ ସେତେବେଳେ ଯେ ବାହାରକୁ ଯାଏ ବାହାରେ ଫୋକସ କରେ ତ ବାହାରେ ବି ସେମ ଥିଙ୍ଗ ସେ ଆଶା କରେ ଏକ୍ସେପ୍ଟ କରେ ଯେ ମୋତେ ଏମିତି ମିଳିବା ଇମ୍ପୋର୍ଟାନ୍ସ ମିଳିବା ଦରକାର ଦେନ ଦ ଚାଇଲ୍ଡ ଇଜ ଅନେବଲ ଟୁ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟ ଓକେ ସୋ ମାଲ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟମେଣ୍ଟ କଜ ତ ବହୁତ ଅଛି ଯେମିତି ମାନେ ଡିଷ୍ଟର୍ବ ଫ୍ୟାମିଲି ଇଜ ଏ କଜ ଅଫ ମାଲ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟମେଣ୍ଟ ଲାଇକ ଦଟ ଅଲସୋ ନାଉ ଇଟ ଇଜ ନ୍ୟୁକ୍ଲିୟର ଫ୍ୟାମିଲି ଇଜ ଅଲସୋ ଏ କଜ ଅଫ ଦ ମାଲ ଆଡଜଷ୍ଟମେଣ୍ଟ ଇନ ଏ ଚାଇଲ୍ଡ ବାପା ମା ବହୁତ ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ୱର୍କିଂ ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ହବା ଛୁଆମାନଙ୍କୁ ଚାକରଙ୍କ ପାଖରେ ମାନେ ସର୍ଭେଣ୍ଟଙ୍କ ପାଖରେ ଛାଡି ଦେଇକି ଯିବା ତ ହ୍ୱାଟ ଦ ହ୍ୱାଟ ଦ ଟ୍ରେଡ ପର୍ସନାଲିଟି ଟ୍ରେଡ ୱିଲ ଡେଭଲପ ଏମଙ୍ଗ ଦ ଚାଇଲ୍ଡ ଜଷ୍ଟ ବାପା ଏଜ ଏ ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ସବୁ ଛୁଆମାନଙ୍କୁ ସମୟ ନ ଦେଇ ପାରିବା ଓକେ ସୋ ଦେ ଆର ଗୋଇଙ୍ଗ ଟୁ ଏକ୍ୱାୟାର ଦୋଜ ଥିଙ୍ଗସ ଆମେ ଜାଣିଛେ ଆମେ ଆମେ କାହାଠୁ ଶିଖୁ ଆମ ସରାଉଣ୍ଡିଂ ରେ ଯିଏ ଥିବ ଯଦି ଏଜ ଏ ୱର୍କିଂ ପ୍ୟାରେଣ୍ଟସ ୟୁ ଆର ହାଇଲି କ୍ୱାଲିଫାଇଡ ୟୁ ଆର very good personality but you have no time to spend the time with your child and the child is always there with the servant at home the servant ra personality ja ta upar tar impact pade tar psychology ra impact pade so that is the thing so a nuclear family working parents so these are also the cause now to create the maladjustment among the children mostly foreign countries mana kare dekhibo choto chua mane bahut aggressive uh, because Uh, they have the broken family so man ko parents no thandi tanga ma baba ko bitre divorce hoye the so man ko ke importance dei no thandi so man emiti grow kare thandi where without the love and affection so they are more aggressive the children will be more aggressive because they never get the love and affection so these are the calls mostly responsible for the maladjustment now the present scenario present year ଆଉ କିଛି କୁହ ଆଉ ସବୁ ବୁଝିପାରୁଛ ଆଜ୍ଞା ମ୍ୟାମ ଗାଇଡେନ୍ସ ଗାଇଡେନ୍ସ କଣ କାଉନସିଲିଂ କଣ କହିଲ ଡିଫରେନ୍ସ କଣ ସରି ମ୍ୟାମ ମୁଁ ଗାଇଡେନ୍ସ ଆଉ କାଉନସିଲିଂ କ୍ଲାସ ଟା ହିଁ ମୁଁ ଆଟେଣ୍ଡ କରି ନାହିଁ କରି ନା ଆଚ୍ଛା long term process with more depth to solve the problem okay bujhi parlo age ma'am how kon ko mu pachar le hin tumhe problem ko tumhe jodi niche padhu thi hum tan to tale kar chande na ma'am stop di mai ସଡି ମେଟେରିଆଲ ଆରେ ତମର ସଫ୍ଟ କପି ଆଭେଲେବଲ ଅଛି ଯଦି ହାର୍ଡ କପି ନାହିଁ ସଫ୍ଟ କପି ତମର ତମେ ପାଇ ପାରିବ ଡାଉନଲୋଡ କରି ପାରିବ ସଫ୍ଟ କପି ଆଭେଲେବଲ ଅଛି ଏ ୟୁନିଟ ରହି ଆମେ ବି ବର୍ତ୍ତମାନ ଯେ ଡିସ୍କସନ କଲେ ବଟ ଇଜ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟି ଫର୍ମେସନ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟି ଫର୍ମେସନ ମାନେ କଣ ବୁଝୁଛ ହାଉ ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ବି ଫର୍ମ ଦ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟି ଆମେ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଫିକେସନ କହିଲେ କଣ ହଉଛି ସେଲ୍ଫ ରେସପେକ୍ଟ ଆଉ ଯୋଉ ସେଲ୍ଫ ଡିପେଣ୍ଡେନ୍ସ ରହୁଛି କି ନିଜେ କେମିତି ଗୋଟେ ନିଜର ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟି କ୍ରିଏଟ କରିବାକୁ ନିଜର ପର୍ସନାଲିଟି କି କେମିତି ଆମେ ଫର୍ମେସନ କରିବୁ ସେଇଟା ହିଁ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଫିକେସନ ନୋ ଏଭ୍ରି ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ୱାଣ୍ଟ ଟୁ ଫର୍ମ ୱି ଏଭ୍ରି ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ୱାଣ୍ଟ ଟୁ କ୍ରିଏଟ ଆୱାର ଓନ୍ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟି ଓକେ ଇଟ ଇଜ ଏ ନେଚୁରାଲ ଟେଣ୍ଡେନ୍ସି ଇଟ ଇଜ ଏ ନେଚୁରାଲ ଟେଣ୍ଡେନ୍ସି ୱି ଏଭ୍ରି ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ want to do always good yes or no by nature no one never want to do anything wrong ame kebe bi kichi bhul kariya ko chahungi no we always want to do something good 
but the thing is that due to our lack of awareness sometimes we are used to do the some wrong things ame sei sir unknown thai ki unaware thai ki kimba amo ko jana na thai je amaro emotion ko kemte handle karibaro to amo dwara kichu de bhul hoi jaye so identity formation is the basic need of each and every individual we every individual want mate samaste bhalo kuhantu mate samaste bhalo paantu pratyek loko semiti chahan pratyek ye kintu main thing ho ji a a a related how you are guided okay so identity formation ta tinida katha ko importance diya jaye kote hoche self concept kote hoche self image aur kote hoche self esteem okay to e tinida jinso pratyek individual bhitare develop hoba dorkar first of all as a self you must know that what you are that is your own self concept the concept about myself okay self concept and on the basis of that we want to create a image in the society which is called as the self image okay and after that we think about the self esteem self esteem kon na i am aware about me i have created my own self concept and i want to represent it in the society to for creating a self image and later we want every ame samaste chau amku samaste bhal paantu amku samaste respect diantu that is the self esteem okay so a tinita ra jahar basic understanding clear tai the individual is a well balanced or mentally healthy people and able to also lead a healthy life so that is identity formation by giving focus on self concept self image and self esteem hello bujhi parlo tike agi ma'am okay so stress and storm kon asa bujhi kilo se class attend kor kilo हेलो एक्चुअली स्ट्रेस जोन बुसे जे को डिस्कशन को तो सेटा को अटेंड करी थिलो आगे मैम लर्नर विद स्पेशल नीड लर्निंग विद स्पेशल नीड जो स्पेशल नीड केते प्रकार अछि कोन कोन अछि से विषय भी गोटे क्लास थिला तमरो अटेंड करी थिलो एजुकेशन कहले इट इज एन एजुकेशनल एप्रोच जी रोचन आम चिलड्रेन मैं सब जाक पे इनवल्व कर इनक्लूसीव एजुकेशन कि स्पेशल एजुकेशन जो मैं स्पेशल निड्स दरकार अच्छी से मूँग आम तार भितर ही आम आड कर इनक्लूसीव एजुकेशन हूँ प्रोभाइड लर्णिंग जी अपरचुनिटी रोज जी सब ग्रुप मान को ही आम आड कर ओपन आउ जो वेलकमिंग एनवायरमेंट है तंकु देथो एनकरेजिंग कर जो पार्टिसिपेशन आउ ए गुडा ही समान को देथो Yes, inclusive education comes in the one education system with all of diversity. Inclusive education, I am saying, education including all. Okay, इतने किच्छ अमर separate अमे को होने जे ये special, ये special नुमो, आर ये आधो करता है आधो करनो. Every whatever the diversification is there, okay? Diversification on the basis of health. और डायवर्सिफिकेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लर्न आमे आगुरु कहुतले जे गोटे कैटेगरी पई गोटे एजुकेशन सिस्टम जेंती ब्लाइंड पीपल अछि ताको पई गोटे ब्लाइंड स्कूल कहिबा जे हमर लो एसएससी माने एसटी अछि ताको पई वाला स्कूल तो आमे ऑन द अलगा करिबोले ताको आमे कहुतले स्पेशल एजुकेशन बट नाउ इन ए कॉमन क्लासरूम सिस्टम ओके व्हाट एवर मे बी योर कैटेगरी ओके वी कैन प्रोवाइड द एजुकेशन टू ऑल टाइप ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इन ए कॉमन क्लासरूम सिस्टम that is called as the inclusive education
this is the common again ma'am thank you inclusive education and now amar jo right to education act re ami importance douchu bartman inclusive education upare na se dhire dhire dekhibo amar special education institute guda ko close kara hauchi ta ame bartman ebe sabu prakar pila ko gotiye common classroom re kemiti accommodate kari pariba seta pe amar inclusive education no main mukhya objective आगे मैम नुवा स्पेशल एजुकेशन एक्ट के बे आसी जी केते टाइप रो नुवा स्पेशल नीड उडा को भी एथरी इंक्लूड करला से एक्ट ता के बे आसी जी ते क्लास अटेंड कर दिलो नाही करी पा नाही मैम मैम यार मु कल ना टाइमिंग टेबल ता ही मु जानि पाले नि बोल की मैम बहुत ही क्लास के बम दीटा ही तीनटा ही क्लास आपन अगर अटेंड करी जी अच्छा इटा लास्ट क्लास इटा सिक्स्थ तो नंबर क्लास थी ला आउ नहीं इटा सॉरी लाज का सिक्स्थ आई डी मैन इटा दिया जर सोहूर में कुछ एक्ट ऐसी ला जो उतरे की नुआ नुआ कैटेगरी उड़ा को भी स्पेशल नीड रे हमरे इंक्लूड करा ला जिन्ती की आगुर न थी ला जे एसिड अटैक मानो को आसीबीएसएम dwarfs in jo manangor height kam ba jo manangor dwarf bol ko ha jaise mane they also will come under the uh, special category senti amaro auri bibhinna nuwa nuwa category jemti ki khali je blind no low vision is also a special category ha to amaro jemti agru thila cerebral palsy amaro thalassemia disease these are also included now under the special category children need okay, how they will be get the provision in the common classroom system so that is 2016 let a revise it yes okay how can you tell who nahi jodi again ma'am okay ma'am i am going to class hello kon koi ha ha hello mo number tik ke den jodi kichhi bhi doubt ho मुके आपन को नंबर टिके दे परे कि मैम आगे मैम डाको हां लेखो मु कहू छी लेखो 9347 आगे मैम 699 आगे मैम 60 ठीक छ आगे मैम थैंक यू लिख लो आगे मैम मैम अभी लेफ्ट ही जाऊँ जी 